Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how you can trigger your workflow using the code. In previous tutorial, I have already explained how to trigger or execute workflow manually as well as through launcher. As part of tutorial, we'll learn how you can trigger the workflow in any of the backend module. There are two important modules of workflow. One is workflow model, basically which is the core of your workflow and which has all the execution logic and the payload. If you have these two parts in your code or any of the backend module, you can trigger this workflow. So let's see how you can trigger this. So to trigger this workflow in backend, first you need a workflow session. Once you have this workflow session, you will need workflow model and you'll get workflow model using this workflow session by passing the exit path of your runtime model, which you want to trigger. Once you have workflow model, you can get a workflow data using workflow session. Basically, this is the payload of your workflow. If a page is a payload of your workflow, so you can pass the path of that page. Once you have both workflow model and workflow data, you can start workflow using workflow session by passing workflow model and workflow data. In some of the cases, you need to pass metadata as well. And in real time scenarios, you will be passing metadata. So there is additional method available, same name method, where you can pass on uh, metadata along with workflow model and workflow data. If you need that, you can use a different method with three parameters. So you will be seeing here all the workflow related objects you got from the resource resolver, right? Using adapt to. So this resource resolver is available in all the backend module. I have already explained this in different, different tutorials, right? So using this resource resolver, you can call this workflow uh, in any of the backend module. You have resource resolver in any of the backend module. So as part of this tutorial, I'll show you how you can trigger this workflow in servlet as well and same way you can trigger this workflow in any of the backend module okay now let's see demo i created a path type servlet this servlet can be called using bin execute workflow or geeks execute workflow i have only get method to get method because i'm not submitting any data if you are not aware how to write a servlet there is a detailed tutorials available in the same series on the same channel you can go back and check so you will see here i got a resource resolver from request request dot get resource resolver this is the way how you can get resource resolver in servlets then if i have a resource resolver now i can get all the workflow related object so from this resource resolver i adapt it to workflow session now i have workflow session using workflow session i got a model by passing the absolute path of my runtime model and the payload right payload is because page is the payload of this workflow so i pass the path of the page right? so how i'm getting this i pass that path as a query parameter in while calling that servlet and then i get that query parameter convert to a string and then i pass that path as a payload once i have workflow model and workflow data then i'm starting this workflow by passing workflow model and workflow data so that way you can execute it. Now let, let me pass something to the front end. I'm adding the status to the response. By default, it's a workflow execution. I define a variable and I got the state from this workflow and then return to response. So this will be available on screen. So let me build it and let's see how I can call this. Call this workflow by passing the page path. So this page and I can pass the path of a page. So I'm passing E. So as soon as you call this work uh, servlet, there is a workflow which will be triggered and it will create the page version. So basically what workflow we are calling here, it create the page version. So let me hit that servlet and let's see whether the workflow execute or not. Once I click, so it's the return is running. That means as soon as I execute, they start running, right? It will finish an instantly, but the initial state is running. So that's why it is showing running. And now let's go back and check the version. Let's go to this page, hero page, and see whether version has been created or not. 
so this is my let refresh this okay. this is my page hero and if you see here that workflow started geek page version started and new version has been created so that means our workflow has been executed in this way you can call or execute this workflow in any backend module by passing a proper payload. I hope you understood. If you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.